Welcome back to Speed Sport Magazine. Tonight we begin a multi-part exclusive conversation with American racing icon Tony Stewart about his passion for sprint car racing. For those of us that appreciate racers that can excel in a variety of motorsports disciplines, it's easy to respect the talent and passion we've seen from Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart grew up on the dirt tracks of the Midwest, where in 1995, he claimed USAC's ultimate prize, the Triple Crown. By winning championships in midgets, sprints, and silver crown divisions, all in the same season, his USAC success propelled him to IndyCar, then NASCAR, where he won championships in both. But his love of dirt racing remained steadfast, and one year ago, he paid a serious price for that passion. While leading a wing sprint car event, he suffered a broken leg in this crash, which sidelined him for the rest of the sprint car and NASCAR season. Critics were harsh, but Tony remained committed to chasing his dream of racing sprint cars. And just a few weeks ago, he returned to the cockpit of his sprint car and drove his way back into the hearts of dirt racing fans and earned an emotional victory in the process. So congratulations, you're a winner in a sprint car again. How's that feel? <laughs> Finally, um, feels good. I mean, it, was, it wasn't the Knoxville Nationals, it wasn't a World of Outlaws race, but um, there were a couple of really good cars there and guys that, that I respect. So uh, uh, it was fun, it was just more fun. It didn't matter, I didn't go there with Karen really where I finished, I just wanted to go and, and get two full nights of racing in and, and get my feet wet again. Big sigh of relief. Yeah, yeah, that was a, you know, when we went to Daytona, it was checking boxes off, you know, getting back in a cup car, you know, feeling comfortable racing next to guys again, getting in a crash, um, just checking boxes off left and right. And then, you know, getting back in a sprint car, was checking another box off again and racing. So uh, I think if you can run one of those cars, you can run anything. I mean, that's, that's about as physical a race car as you're ever gonna drive. Felt like that was really the, the toughest test for me physically in the car. So how much are you gonna try to squeeze in the rest of this year? I've got races on the schedule that I know I'm gonna to try to run. Um, there's none of them are a paid show where we're advertising that we're going yet. It's, it's more just kind of go when we feel like going and I'm not pressuring myself to go run a particular track. It's, it's we've probably got about 12 or 14 more races that are on there that we can fit in the rest of the year that I feel comfortable going to. You know, we picked, we picked what we could. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to concentrate on my full-time job. I don't want people to think that just because I'm racing a, a dirt car again that I'm forgetting what pays the bills and, and how important the Cup Series is because it's very important to me. You know, last year the schedule I had was very ambitious, was very busy, and I started getting tired a little bit, but that's not, that didn't have anything to do with what caused our wreck and how I got hurt last year. I was a victim of circumstances, but I'm gonna make sure that I don't, I don't run myself thin you know, while I'm still getting healed. But you need this. As long as I've yeah. known you, you can't breathe without this. Yeah. So how do you do it? Have you found a way? Have you come to an agreement with everybody you have to on the business side that this is a part of what makes Tony click? And if you guys want success from Tony, you gotta allow him to do this too, or he won't yeah. be that guy. I think everybody in our management group that truly understands me knows how there's a piece of the puzzle that's been missing all year. And just talking to a couple of them in the last couple of days, they're, they're understanding that it needed to happen. How do you explain to people who don't know you the way I do and have seen you and what dirt track racing means to you, how do you explain that to them? It's been hard because ever since I got hurt last year, you you know, I've had a lot of time to get on the internet and read and, you know, people that understand and get it and know what I'm doing and know why I'm doing it, they're backing you on it. And then there's a group of people that are just NASCAR fans. They don't care about any other form of racing that are bad mouthing you because you did this and got hurt. And it's the easiest way to describe it is, it doesn't matter what I'm doing or what you're doing or what they're doing. There's something that we all enjoy doing. And I don't care what you're responsible for, or what duties, what your job title is. If you are not doing in your life what you love to do and what you're passionate about doing, why are we here? What is the point of living our life if we aren't gonna find things that we love and enjoy and are able to do it? 
So anybody that asked, asked me or told me that I shouldn't do this, in my opinion, was selfish. More selfish than what they were accusing me of by doing it. So it, you got to have something that you're passionate about. You got to have something that you're into, that you love. Um, that's, this is what I love. I, and it's not just dirt track racing. I love racing, period. I love racing a cup car. I loved racing Indy cars. I, you know, I've ran super modified, big block modifieds, midgets, sprint cars, you name it, any, everything, anything and everything. And I love racing. That's what I want to do. So if that, if wanting to race is wrong, then what, what am I here for? And what does Tony have to say to those who consider sprint car racing a lower form of motorsport? It's not lower. It might be lower visibility, but it's good racing with great race car drivers. And if you can beat them at their own game, you have done something. We'll have more of our exclusive interview with Tony Stewart right after this. Race fans, whether you love dirt, asphalt, two wheels, or four, you need to be speed sport equipped with cool t-shirts, awesome caps, and great speed sport swag. You can get your limited edition merchandise now. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com, click on the store link, and start shopping. Throwback tees, shop racks, and everything you need to be ready for the races. That's nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click the store link. 